hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm going to be giving you part 5 of what if naruto joined the akaski remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out the new episode of what if naruto was trained by kaguya i did on anime king and i also post a new episode of what if naruto created his own village over in anime king as well so go ahead and check out those and enjoy and stay in tune because after this i'm going to be posting a new episode of what if naruto had nine keke genkai so stay in tune and enjoy and remember guys if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice what are you waiting for go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime king 2 family and also join anime king if you enjoy the what ifs on both channels and remember to comment down below and tell me or i'll be replying and talking back to all of you so yeah without further ado let's get straight into this new episode so to do a bit of a recap the akaski had a party basically for naruto because he completed his first mission as they then brought naruto someone they brought him a ninja from konoha that they captured from the border as he was Naruto's final test for Naruto to kill him but Naruto didn't think about it Naruto just swiped the man's neck as he then pulled off the bag over the man's head seeing that it was Ebisu Konohamaru's teacher as Naruto felt mixed emotions but he started to think about it the village is already dead to him it doesn't matter what he does now as he then cut off Ebisu's neck with the kunai completely. Orochimaru now has Jiraiya and Hinata working for him as the both of them will help him get Sasuke because they want to get Naruto. Orochimaru then interrogate a member of the Hidden Rain as the man told them information about the body that came in wrapped up in bandage with blonde hair as Hinata and Jiraiya know that was Naruto. So with the help of Orochimaru, they went to the hidden rain as they met Kabuta there in a bar as he told them what to do and if they want any help to push Chakra into the rod to call him. As Hinata bumped into someone, if she had her Byakugan on she would have known it was Naruto. Because Naruto, Conan and Itachi are going on a mission to find Orochimaru so he can fix Nagato so he will be able to walk again and no longer control the paths as Nagato want to bury his friend Yaiko now. He want to be walking on his own and be the leader that he should be. It was then that the masked man came Toby as his voice then changed. So yeah guys that was basically last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. We start this episode with the masked man standing in front of Nagato with Zetsu also there. Don't tell me that you have become attached to the boy. You know that he is merely a pawn in the game. For the perfect world, sacrifice need to be made. You of all people should know that Nagato, said the masked man. He is a fellow clan member and a wonderful student. He has the power to change this world. Without your genjutsu, I believe that he can, said Nagato. The only way to achieve peace is to wipe this world and start fresh. I promised you a beautiful world when Yaiko is alive and so are your parents. If it means so much to you, Naruto can be in this genjutsu as well. Whatever satisfy your need for such a companion. I am waiting for the lab test, Madara. He can be related to me. Would you cast off your family so easily, Nagato said. I have no time for your games, Nagato. Those eyes of yours aren't gift from the gods, I would know. Madara, surely the boy can live a bit longer. He will be the last to be extracted. That is the best offer you will ever receive from me. Now get this done. I am growing more and more impatient since the days go by. It was then that Black Zetsu spoke. Nagato, it's Itachi. He's sending the signal. Great, let's go, said Nagato. As Madara then vanished in a swirling vortex. What do I do? Said Nagato to himself. 
Naruto has grown attached to me. He's like a little brother. Nagato lets go of Zaidetsu, breaking him out of his thoughts. Grab on. With Hinata and Jiraiya, they picked up their pace as the main entrance was just a few feet away. They could sense people in the building. She hoped that Naruto's body was untouched and unharmed, but she prepared herself for the worst, however. In here, said Jiraiya, I sense three different chakra types. Three people are in this building. Their chakra is powerful. Stay alert. Got it, said Hinata. As the both of them barge in from room to room, checking for traps and their friend. As they saw a kitchen, sparring arena, the Akaski has everything they need for survival. As Jiraiya find it a bit weird, they were in the place, but no one was hassling them. Hinata activated her Byakugan as she searched for the three people, hoping that Naruto's body would be near them. As her eyes then went wide, what is it? Jiraiya asks. One of them just disappeared, like a space-time jutsu. There is still two of them left, she said. We better hurry, said Jiraiya. They picked up their pace as they ran through the mess hall, as they didn't notice a corpse of Ebisu in the corner. No, no this can't be possible, said Hinata. What's wrong, Jiraiya asked. The other two vanish as well. They sink into the ground. The building is now empty. You're telling me we're alone? No Akaski anywhere? Jerry asks. Basically, said Hinata. Look, this is a minor setback, but this is the best thing to happen right now. All of them have left completely. Their belongings and their files are here. Naruto could still be here. If not, then there should be the right information on finding him, wherever his body is. As they went at a slow pace as they searched a mess hall, as Hinata let out a scream as she found the body, as Jiraiya rushed over, as Jiraiya saw the decapitated body and the head in the corner, as Jiraiya walked over to the body and started to search the pockets, as he pulled out an ID tag, Ebisu, what do we do now? Hinata asked. I can't go back. I don't want to go back to the village, she said. I guess you're right, said Jiraiya. As he activated the item that Kabuta gave him, as Kabuta arrived in a matter of minutes. What is it that you need? From what I can sense, this place is deserted. Seal this body and drop it off outside of Konoha gates and make it look like the Akaski sealed him. So you don't want them to know that it was you who found the body, Kabuta asks. Basically, we don't want to go back to the village with a dead body. They may take it the wrong way. We are rogue ninjas after all, said Jiraiya. I see. Then I guess I'll go to it. Are you two done here? He asks. Not quite. We still have to search the rest of the rooms. With Conan, she grinned as she looked up from her book as she felt Nagato and Zetsu, Chakra, coming closer to them. As Conan then looked at Naruto, as she could tell that something was wrong. Naruto, come and take a seat over here for a minute. Itachi, go and scout the area so we won't fall into any traps. I already checked, remember? Please, said Conan. I am not going to waste my time while you gossip with the rookie. Ah, oh, sorry, Naruto, said Itachi. Oh, that's a shame, said Conan, because I have all of these pictures of you. Dancing. Would be a shame if they got into the wrong hands. Alright, I'll be back in five minutes, Itachi said, as he walked off the search woods. What's up, Conan? Naruto asked. I should ask you the same thing. You have not been the same since last night, after the execution. Oh, that? Look, she said, I am not one to talk. Before I joined the Akaski with Nagato or Yaiko, my people were already in a civil war. I have went through a life of war when I was young. For you it was different. Konoha never have any civil war during your childhood and I had to do a lot of bad things to survive. This would have been the first leaf ninja you kill, right? Yeah, said Naruto. But I am an Akaski member now. You're more than that. You're Nagato's clan member. He did not tell you, did he? Asked Conan. What? Naruto asked. Well, he's getting your blood and his blood tested. He wants to know if you're related to him or not. You actually mean a lot to him. Really? But I'm just a kid, said Naruto. You were just a kid, but now. You are a man that a girl like me would like. 
but don't take that as a hint. Yeah, I know you like Nagato, said Naruto. Look, I am an assassin slash mercenary, but I am still a girl. Talk to me about this stuff. And for the love of ramen, don't talk to Hidan about this kind of shit. As Naruto started to chuckle, as he turned into a full blown laugh, as Conan started to laugh as well. As Itachi then came back, a few seconds later, Zetsu came out of the ground with Nagato holding on to his back. Conan then pulled out a scroll as she summoned the walker type machine for Nagato to walk in. Alright, let's go, said Itachi, as all of them turned their attention towards the hideout ahead. After a while, they arrived as they all stood outside of Orchamar's hideout, weapon drawn their senses at high alert, so if any threat or anything is nearby. The hideout looked like a simple, natural rock formation. Itachi then stepped forward, here he comes. He's walking peacefully, no weapons that I can see. Within minutes, the silhouette of Orochimaru came out of the darkness. As he stepped in the sunlight and gazed at Itachi, not noticing Naruto in the back. I see that you have brought me my Sharingan. Oh, and my running gun too. This is a delightful meeting that we're having, my Akaski friends. He then looked around and stopped, as his eyes opened wide, as he couldn't believe it. Naruto, you're supposed to be dead. What? You're an Akaski member now? Long time no see, Orochimaru. Interesting, said Orochimaru. Word has spread around, your friends. Kabuto and I even thought that you were dead. My friends, how do you know that they think I'm dead? Because they told me, said Orochimaru. What? Who told you? Naruto asked. Well, they aren't your friends anymore. You have joined the Akaski, so they aren't your friends. And I am helping them look for your dead body. Who? Is it the Hokage's orders? Naruto asked. Ha, huh, of course not. The leaf cannot waste time on body hunt. Two of your friends slashed their headbands and cut their bond with the village in order to search for you. Who? Naruto asks. Hinata Hayuga and Jiraiya, your master. Naruto was surprised when he heard about Hinata. He was shocked about that, but for Jiraiya to do that, Jiraiya who was always loyal to Konoha 100% and he casts everything away just to find me. And your sensei as well, said Orochimaru, as he looked at Nagato. What? said Naruto, as he didn't understand. Conan walked over to him. It's okay, it's okay, she said. Nagato machine then walked forward, as he was now standing in front of Orochimaru. So Nagato, it has been some time. What brings you out of the hidden rain? I need your help. I need to undergo surgery. I need these chakra rods removed and my legs repaired. Also, for my chakra to replenish my body and become a healthier man. After that is done, I cannot guarantee the man part, but it will come at a price, said Orochimaru. Of course, I am no fool. That is why I brought you this, said Nagato. He pulled a bag from his machine as he threw it to Orochimaru who caught it. As Orochimaru opened the bag, as he saw the blood red cactus plant. Ah, I've been looking for this a long time now. These will help me to recover my arms. You have my thanks and my promise. I will do the procedure, he said. As he then turned to Naruto, your friends will be back later. If you want me to keep your current health a secret, I will do so. But Naruto, I can't keep it a secret forever. Naruto looked up. Yeah, I know, he said. Back at the Akaski hideout, Jiraiya and Hinata found the room that said Rookie on it. As they walk in, as it was a simple bunker, as they saw notes and pictures scattered all over the table of the hidden stone police massacre, Hinata scanned the pillar as she found blonde hair, as this hair was fresh and familiar. Hinata then opened a jaw to find a red kunai stained by blood and dirt. She recognized the blood straight away. It was letting off Naruto's chakra. 
This blade had dealt damage to Naruto and she knew it. Meanwhile, Jiraiya went through the wardrobe. He then smashed his hand into the wall as Hinata ran over. What is it she said? As hanging in the wardrobe was Naruto's coat stained in blood. It's bright orange stained with blood dirt and grass. As Hinata then saw a Akatsuki robe in there, as she looked at the color and saw the blonde hair as she looked back at the pillow, they were the same. Wait, that man Hinata said. What are you talking about said Jiraiya. That man that I bumped into, the blonde hair, it's the same. Why didn't I notice? Jiraiya, we walk right by him in the city. It's him Hinata said. He's alive and joined the Akatsuki to destroy Konoha, Jiraiya said. Few minutes passed as neither of them spoke, as both of them were in shock as they came for a body and now they are leaving with a lot of stress. They expected to bury him the next day but instead they have to bury their own. Depression and guilt As Hinata just realized that Naruto was laying there dying and it was the Akatsuki that found him and Naruto chose them as she couldn't imagine the amount of hatred and pain and anger that Naruto is feeling right now. As Jiraiya wonder what do they want from Naruto? Do they want village secret? Naruto doesn't know any of that. Or do they want the Nine Tails power? As the news has spread the three and the four and the five, seven and six tails has been captured. The two tail and Gara and the eight tails are safe but the others are gone. They will kill him last, seeing how he's a member, said Jiraiya. What are you talking about? asked Hinata. The tail beast, they need it, and no one has ever survived the ritual from extracting it, except for the Fort Okage's wife. Do you think he knows? Hinata asked. I doubt it. He would have never freely joined, said Jiraiya. So do you think he joined freely? she asked. His perfectly folded cloak and cozy room. Confirm it, said Jiraiya. What will we do? We thought he was dead, said Hinata. Can we talk him out of it? Maybe, or at the very most, we can turn his anger towards. I don't like it. What? asked Hinata. Well, we can keep his anger on Sasuke. It's a horrible thing to do, but it's either Sasuke or the destruction of the village. You would have him kill Sasuke and end his hate? Hinata asked. Yeah, as much as I hate it, sacrifice needed to be made and Sasuke is not trustworthy anyways. Let's go Hinata. But we're back to Orochimaru's hideout to plan our next move. Back at Orochimaru's hideout, the room was quiet as the Akatsuki members were above looking down at the surgery that was going on below. Orochimaru was removing the rods and filling the holes with a dark black liquid that started to turn into his skin color as multiple people were giving Nagato chakra including a red hair girl. Naruto had no idea who she was but he wanted to find out. Conan was tense as she was shaky as she was worried about Nagato's life. As Naruto walked over and sat next to Conan as he gave her a hug. He's going to be fine Conan, he has the Renegon and all that chakra and most of all he has your love. I don't think anything bad is going to happen to him. He's my master after all. Thanks Naruto. It means a lot to me. You know it's funny she said. What is Naruto asked. You went from being an enemy to us to being Nagato's student and a true member of our organization. You certainly are special. Thanks. I am glad you guys think so. Where is Zetsu and Itachi? Well, Zetsu went off to gather information on Orochimaru's vast library. And Itachi is outside. Who knows why? Wait, that reminds me. Jiraiya said Naruto. As Conan tensed a bit. Might as well tell you, she said. We were war orphans. Me, Nagato, and Yaiko. Our parents killed off by the horrors of war. Jiraiya found us as he stayed with us and train us so he could take care of ourselves. He taught us about peace and sacrifice and then he left us so 
we can forge our own destiny. He was like a father to us. He was like a father to me too, said Naruto. But what do I do now? He would never join the Akaske for my sake. He has lived at the village too long, even after what they did to me. He is still a part of Konoha. The intercom buzzed before Conan could respond as Orochimaru called up to them. Meet me in the recovery room. The surgery was a success. He's fine and his body is accepting the chakra like a charm. Thank goodness, said Conan. I'm glad, said Naruto. As Itachi came in as well, as they hurry up and went to the recovery room, as they saw Nagato on a bed, as he slowly started to regain consciousness. So, was it a success? Nagato asked. Conan pushed past Orochimaru as she went to Nagato's side, as she could see the changes, all of his bones that used to show when he used the dragon ability to suck out your soul was gone. His body has returned back to normal, healthy. His hair even looked more red. As he smiled, he now knew what it feel like to lie flat on a bed without having holes cut through the back for chakra rods. As she then saw his legs, they were clean, no scars or burn marks. I can move my legs again, said Nagato, as he hopped off the bed. But his legs shake as he grabbed onto the railing and grinned. Your nerves are not used to the new legs. Your brain will adjust to the changes. In some time, said Orochimaru. The best way to learn is to go off the deep end, said Nagato. All right. But if you fall, that's your fault, said Orochimaru. As Nagato released the railing, as he started to walk slow at first, until he felt it, the movement come back into his legs. As he even jumped, as he even raced around the room, he then rushed towards Naruto at incredible speed as he was already getting used to them. Now that I am mobile, I can train you to be much stronger, trust me, said Nagato. Yes, said Naruto with a large smile. He was happy to see his sensei free and well-spirited. Alright, I need to test out my legs ability in private. Conan, let's go, said Nagato, to that bed over there. As Itachi spit out the water that he was drinking, as Naruto was confused, Orochimaru then placed his hand on Naruto's shoulder. Please tell me that Konoha taught you about the birds and the bees. As Nagato and Conan that was blushing heavily walk off as they went into a separate room. As everything then kicked into Naruto, as Naruto ran out of the place as fast as possible. That was really awkward. Back at Konoha, Kakashi was stunned. The whole village, well, all of the senior shinobis, knew that Kakashi and Anko was an item now, ever since that night. But Anko just told Kakashi that she was pregnant, as he couldn't believe it. At the same time, they were all summoned to the Hokage's tower as they all geared up as Kakashi was still stunned but they would talk about that later on their way to the Hokage's tower well well if it isn't the new couple said Asuma as Kakashi gave them an eye smile do you want to tell people uncle asked Kakashi with a whisper not yet just let's talk later Kakashi told her all right she said so what is this meeting about Kakashi asks, well, a body was dropped off at the gates sealed in a scroll. We're guessing that it was the Akaski. Who was killed? Asks Kakashi. Only Shizune and the Hokage know. As they all headed off, as they were greeted by the rest of them in the room. That was Shikaku, Yamato, Kurunai, and Aruka as Nade sat at her decks. As you all know, the Akaske has sent us one of our own dead. He was sealed in a scroll. This is a technique that we have never seen before. So we can assume that they can seal alive people. But that is not why all of you are gathered. The person that was sealed was Ebisu Sensei. As everyone gasped, Ebisu was an odd man, but he was a good teacher to his three students. 
I know, said Snati, a man such as him does not venture out of the village. He must have been kidnapped and he was beheaded by a kunai or a sword. They probably torture him for information. The Akaski give him back as a warning, but I am going to take it as a challenge. I want teams to hunt these bastards down and eliminate them. Kakashi raised his hand in question. Any word on Hinata or Jiraiya, he asked. I am afraid that the village elders, including Danzo of the foundation, have forced me. Well, those two are to be considered as criminals. What? They have done nothing, said Guy. I am aware, I know. The elders has made it clear though that if you cast off your bond with this village, you are a traitor. And according to Danzo, both Hinata and Jiraiya contain vital information about the leaf. If they betrayed us, they would never, said Kurnai. If they betray us, our enemies will gain a lot of information. So, as from now on they are criminals, but if you manage to bring them back, they will join us again. But right now they are no different from the Akaski. You cannot believe that. Hinata is just 16 years old for crying out loud, said Kurnai. Kurnai, that's enough, said Sonade. This is protocol. Back with Naruto. Naruto was sitting down as it has been an hour since Nagato went off to go and train his body. As Orochimaru was a distance away from him as he was writing something in a notepad with a cactus beside him. As Orochimaru chuckled to himself, well this is rather humorous. What is it now? said Naruto. Now now, there's no need for that tone, said Orochimaru. I was merely laughing at this whole situation. It is absolutely gold. What's so funny about it? Naruto asked. Well, three years ago, we were trying to kill each other, but here you are now, relaxing on my sofa, waiting for your Akaski masters. Things have changed, said Naruto. Yes, Orochimar said. No anger. The Kayubi is not coming out to say hello. I am disappointed. The reason I am not angry, because you are right after all, Orochimaru. Your reason for hating Konoha was justified. You only wanted power and you had to do it in your own way, but they held you back. Hmm, it seems you really have changed Naruto, said Orochimaru. Orochimaru, said Naruto. I am going to kill Sasuke, you know that, right? Well, I am afraid I can't allow you to do that, said Orochimaru. But you want him dead, right? Yes, said Naruto. And I'll do it. Well, that's not necessary. Bring him to me and both of us will benefit. You get your revenge and I get my body. Can you guarantee his death? Naruto asked. But of course, said Orochimaru. The door then opened as Nagato entered. Nagato then patted Naruto on the shoulder as Conan was leaning against the door, blushing heavily. Naruto, I need to speak with Orochimaru alone. Yes, Nagato, said Naruto. He left the room and followed Conan down the hallway as she was giggling loud as Naruto teased her. Nagato then sat down as he looked at Orochimaru. You did amazing work old friend, he said. Are we friends? I am touched Nagato. Thank you for the cactus, it will speed up my research. We are not done, not yet. More operations? Orochimaru asks. No. Far more important. I am intrigued, said Orochimaru, continue. I think you know more about Toby than more of our members, right? Yes, you mean the supposed Madara Uchiha, correct? He leads us from the shadows, but not anymore thanks to his body. What about him? Orochimar asks. Have you ever heard of a phrase named Kudeta? Yes, the overthrown. Well, this is sounding very interesting, said Orochimaru the chuckle. Well, we both used to want to achieve peace through his grand project of the Sukuyomi. Said Nagato, oh, I get it now. You have grown attached to Naruto and you don't want him to take the nine tails. Zetsu used your lab while we were operating. He took a blood sample from me and Naruto. What of it? Orochimaru asks. Well, I am his uncle. What? How? Nagato then pulled out a scroll as he pulled it out showing the family of the Uzumaki. 
Going back to the Senjus, the roots, Koshina Uzumaki, Naruto's mother, was taken from the land of the whirlpools. The four Tokage's wife, said Orochimaru, yes, she originated from the whirlpool village along with me, her brother. To get her to Konoha and to not make her find out about her destroyed village, she had her memories about me wiped out of her mind by the Yamanaka clan and my memories of her also wiped back then. However, my Renegon has slowly made me break the seals placed on me by the Yamanaka clan. How did you survive? asked Orochimaru. As you know, when the village was destroyed, the Uzumaki spread far and wide. My mother and father, Kushina's mother and father, took me to the hidden rain where we remain until their death and the birth of my Renegon. So, now you want to protect Naruto, Orochimaru asked. Yes, and we will achieve peace in a different way. And we will no longer do this plan of the Genjutsu. And you come to me why? Asked Orochimaru. I want you to rejoin us. Help me. Get our base inside your facilities. Help me train Naruto and forge the real Akasuke. We will get you Sasuke's body and deal with Madara. Hmm, okay. I guess we will take part in the Akasuke schemes yet again. Who will join? Orochimaru asked. Well, you and I, Kabuto, Conan, Itachi and Naruto of course. And Kisame, that is if Itachi can shake him over to our side. Kakuzu and Hidan will join where there is bloodshed and money. Deidara and Sasori are a maybe and Zetsu is loyal to Madara. Well, that is interesting. Now let me ask you something, said Orochimaru. And what is that? asked Nagato. What about Jiraiya and Hinata? Would they join when they found out that Naruto is alive? Well, they probably already know now, Orochimaru said that chuckle. Hmm? said Nagato. Bad timing I guess. They went to the hidden rain to your hideout. No doubt they will be back soon with information that Naruto is alive. I see. So it may come to a hard decision then. But I know, said Orochimaru. Hinata will join you for Naruto's sake. And Jiraiya, he will not agree with our method of peace. It's better that we leave him as a neutral player, said Nagato. The door opened and Itachi enter. As he had news to report, they have arrived. Hinata and Jiraiya, keep Naruto in another room. We will bring him out when we talk to them first. Yes, Nagato, said Itachi. With Hinata and Jiraiya, they entered as a sense all of a chakra signature as they quickly went inside as they saw the Akaski members sitting around the table with Orochimaru. Welcome back Jiraiya. We have company, said Orochimaru. Did you sell us out, you bastard Orochimaru? We had a deal. I sold out no one. They came and visit and one thing led to another. Long time since I heard your voice, Sensei. As Jiraiya eyes widened. But guys, gonna be in this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, or know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification. Stay posted, and make sure to stay in tune for what if Naruto had nine Kekke Genkai. I'm gonna be posting that after this, so stay in tune and enjoy that, guys. And also, go ahead and check out Anime King, where I post the new episode of What If Naruto was trained by Kaguya, and also What If Naruto created his own village. And yeah, remember if you're new to click that red subscribe button and join the anime king family and be a part of the channel. But for now, I'm out of here guys. Peace.